Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. As you can see, I'm back at Magic Mountain to check up on the project behind me. So how about you and I dive right in. Starting the windy day here at Six Flags Magic Mountain in front of Hurricane Harbor. Off in the distance, I can hear them jackhammering something underneath this big blue slide right here. Don't know what they're working on. Hey, a new slide would be awesome. Hurricane Harbor hasn't seen a new attraction in quite some time. And you know what? I, th I think it's time we get a new slide here. So maybe that's what they're working on. Or it could just be some general infrastructure work as they start getting ready for the summer season, which is quickly approaching. I believe Hurricane Harbor opens up sometime in May. But that's all the excitement happening in the plaza. I've made my way in the park. You can see they have some decorations out. I would assume this is all for the Scream Break slash Flavors of the World Festival. And Flavors of the World starts March 23rd and goes till May 5th, Saturdays and Sundays. Ooh, and look at this. I would assume this is for the Scream Break. I don't know if this is for the Food Festival. Look at that. They got like a little stage set up in the front here. They have some, some stuff going on over here and some stuff over there and some stuff right there. Oh yeah, this is definitely some expensive stuff. Shout out to all my uh, intelligent lighting and stage lighting friends out there. I know my buddy Zach would, would like to have one of these at home. Yeah, I have no uh, clue what else they would be using this for other than screen break, but hey, you never know. Six Flags has a few surprises up their sleeve here and there, so this could be used for something completely different besides the events that are happening here at the park very soon. As it stands right now, I'll be able to attend screen break. I don't think I have anything else going on. Last year I was in Orlando, Florida, so that's why I wasn't able to attend, but this year I think everything's good. And I'll take every ounce of Halloween I can get. I mean, I'm wearing Halloween nearly every day. I mean, it's looking like they're gonna do some sort of show during the festivals, and I'll take that. You know, we need more entertainment here at Six Flags. I think it's a good thing. Now, because of the wind the past couple days, if you are visiting Six Flags Magic Mountain on a windy day, remember that some attractions might not be open. So like right now, X is not open. They finished the lift hill work, but because of the wind lately, they haven't been able to operate the attraction. It will valley if it's too windy. That's uh, the case with a couple other attractions in the park too. So just keep that in mind. And sometimes full throttle is like that too. So today full throttle is not operating. Sad faces for sure. But look at this, the stage is back. For a while it was gone. Oh, and they got some nice strobe lights. Those are like some newer strobe lights. But yeah, it's looking like everything is back in place like it was before. And they'll probably leave this up for a while. I, I mean, I would assume. Again, more entertainment is great. And look, they have some more stands over here as well. So I wonder if there's like a lot of entertainment planned for these festivals. That's actually pretty exciting. Or there could it could be something completely different. I have no idea. But you know what? Let's change our focus to what is going on on the hillside here because just from this distance, way over here next to the quick service places, I can see that new markers have been showing up on the side of the hill. Oh dang, yeah, there's so many new ones. Holy moly. So yeah, see, whatever this is, which again, I'm thinking this is a roller coaster. It's huge. I mean, this is massive. Just from this vantage point alone, I could see maybe a dozen new ones, maybe even more. Dang, they're even by the queue too. Like right when you walk up the ramp, into the station. Because the ride is closed, they have a little barricade here, so I wanna be respectful and not be walking in places I'm not uh, supposed to be walking. But yeah, they're along that queue space over there and it looks like they go all the way over to Gold Rusher's turnaround after the first drop. Dang, this is so cool, how exciting. Yeah, they definitely go up the old waterfall right there and then where the old lift hill was for Log Jammer. Nothing in this corner. I've been looking in this corner and there's not much happening over here. Okay, let's continue. Oh, hello there, random wooden pole. Interesting. Again, this is just one of the reasons why I haven't been doing a lot of Disney content lately as well, because I know I have a lot of Disney uh, videos usually on the channel, but because of what's happening here at Six Flags Magic Mountain and even at Universal Studios, I, it just gets me really excited and I nerd out so much on this stuff, especially here at Six Flags Magic Mountain because it be, could mean a new roller coaster. Making my way a little closer to the main part of the project, you can see crews at the very top of the old stadium seating putting in more survey markers. How cool is that? That means this thing is getting bigger and bigger every single day. Oh, and there's some more flags right here as well. You know, when you're here in person, you get a better scope of how large it actually is. You know, the, the Golden Bear Theater area is 
pretty big respectively, you know, but it's not big enough to hold like something gargantuan. But when you add this side over here, and in addition to the side over there, because the, the work fence goes all the way to those two flat rides, then you're talking about something a little bit more uh, insane as far as what they could build. This is definitely enough room for a roller coaster the size of Hyperia, like over at Thorpe Park. I mean, this is a very, very large space. Now, one thing I'm curious about that I've been wondering the past couple of days, especially covering this project in person, is I wonder if they're gonna keep this concrete surface. If they're, you know, let's say it is a roller coaster, right? Could they use this piece of concrete for a massive footing? Okay, I'm going a little bit farther back into Bugs Bunny World, and you can see right here in this corner, another dozen flags have popped up. Oh, dang, and they go deep in the trees over there. And again, another fantastic angle from this side. This is really exciting to see more and more pop up. Just behind me in that little like cove on the other side of this hill, there's at least 20. And I'm already starting to notice some on the side closest towards the other Bugs Bunny marquee sign. So whatever this is, again, is going to be pretty sizable. And the last time I think I saw this many like random markers like this was when they were building West Coast Racers. With Wonder Woman, it was all kind of like in a line. And eventually we knew what the layout was gonna be because then we started seeing it go vertical. And we're like, okay, this thing is not gonna go like all over the place. It's just gonna go out and back. With this, this is like a terrain attraction. So that's why I'm thinking this is a roller coaster. It could also be a water ride. You never know. The water rides are still very popular. SeaWorld San Antonio just opened up a new water ride by Intamin. So, hey, we could be seeing a new uh, water ride that's very similar to that over here at Magic Mountain. The only reason why I don't think it's a water ride is because water rides are very expensive to maintain. And I don't know if Six Flags Magic Mountain is wanting to go down that alley with all due respect you know like th there's not many water rides here there's only two operating water rides at this park right now it's the river rapids attraction and jet stream and right now jet stream is closed and it's been closed for quite some time so i don't think six flags magic mountain is really in the ballpark of adding a new water ride hey it would be cool don't get me wrong i will still be first in line for it when it opens up, but this this is way too complex. I mean, yeah, you can see where they're spray painting on this massive piece of concrete. They're going up here, they're going over here in this like little cove area. They're going over the other side of the hill towards Full Throttle and Gold Rusher. I, I, if this is a water ride, then holy moly. Yeah, I mean, just it, it's just scattered everywhere. This is, this is a roller coaster. I'm, I'm gonna put my money on it right now. I think this is gonna be a roller coaster. From who? I don't know. It could be from any manufacturer. Dang, I'm starting to see more over here too. It's very hard to tell on camera. I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can, but there are a few flags. Uh, oh, hey, Crazanity. Nice to see you. That's so cool. You can see it over the, the berm there. But yeah, this, this cluster right here, there's some action happening in that corner. Oh, hello, little orange marker on the footpath. I wonder if this was where the old blue one, remember the, the a few videos back, there was a blue marker on the ground over in this location. I can't find the other one unless I'm standing on top of it, but that might be where the blue one is. And look at now it's the orange. It says number 506. And again, right here, <laughs> there they go up the hill. There's even more markers in this corner. And as far as any other orange markings on the ground, I do not see any more spray paint anywhere. So, I, I don't think anything else is going in this area, but hey, that's not gonna stop me. I'm still gonna be looking around, you know me. And also, look, another wood pole has popped up. Been keeping an eye on these two crew members over here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, but not too much. I wanna keep their faces kind of, uh, you know, still blurred. But uh, yeah, they've been moving to the top of the hill closest to Superman's launch. So they were over here when I got to the site, and now they're like way up there. I've made my way over here towards Superman to get another look on this side of the project because we do know that they've been removing the pieces of monorail beam, the old monorail that was here, which there's still a beam right there. That's where they've stopped. And there are no markers over here. I do not see any orange flags on this side, but it's still a little early in this project and you never know what's gonna happen over here. But as far as the hill kind of inching towards Bugs Bunny World a little bit, yeah, a bunch of flags have popped up where the old monorail beam was and a few other locations. Nothing too close to the swing attraction or the Buccaneer, but again, I'm thinking as this is growing every single day, I, I would not be surprised if we see some survey markers over here as well. Ooh, look at this, we have a Flavors of the World food booth. Looks like they've been painting it, which is cool. And yeah, again, another look. Could you imagine if, okay, if it is, let's say it's a roller coaster, right? What if it goes all the way over here and like goes over Superman? How epic would that be? Oh, and look at this, another one. Now there's also another wood 
pulled by the restrooms near Goliath as well. And another one right here and across the way in that planter. And then side note, here at the DC Universe sign, they have a stage set up for Scream Break. And they have all the decorations too. Over here at Crazanity, it's still down for a little bit of a refurb. They've been working on it the past couple days. Not sure when this is supposed to get back up, but I'll keep you updated. And then as far as any activity when it's concerning the Golden Bear Theater Project, there's nothing on this side of Superman. And speaking of Superman, there it goes. Let's see how far it gets uh, up to the red. Uh, oh, there he goes. Okay, we at least got to the red on that one. That's nice. But yeah, nothing going on over here. And then right over here, you can see they're getting ready for the saw maze to open. So there'll be two haunted houses. There'll be this one and then the condemned house party, which will be towards the front of the park. Live entertainment, scare zones, all that kind of fun stuff. Ooh, and look at this over here at Jetstream. They're completely rebuilding the bridge. It's cool that the park is also working on little projects here and there, like just aesthetic stuff, including obviously the major project in the front. You know, these little things do help and make a big difference. Oh, wow, look at this. The VIP lounge over here is no longer a VIP lounge. It's an arcade. The line for Mario Kart was too long and you needed to get your power-ups, you could get your power-ups here. And as I'm making my way up, the Magic Mountain out of the underground, another little aesthetic thing that I've noticed is that they've replaced the graphic on the outside of the West Coast Racers gift shop. Six Flags Magic Mountain is open daily, but some days during the week, it's not that bad. Now, since Samurai Summit is open, I'm gonna go to the top of the hill here to see if I can find any more flags. I'm gonna make my way back down the hill, but I was here the other day with a buddy and we rode Gold Rusher because I wanted to see if I can find anything from that vantage point. And lo and behold, there were some markers on the second lift hill, so I'm near the second lift hill. Uh, and just right now, walking up here, you can kind of see them through the trees. It's very hard to see on camera, so I don't know if I'm gonna include them in, the, in today's video. But yeah, there are clearly a few, maybe like half dozen flags right by the second lift hill on Gold Rusher. So if you ride the attraction and you're interested in this new project, you can clearly see them. Okay, back down to the main site and some new flags have popped up. They've put up some new ones over there. And now those same crew members have worked their way down over here. Yeah, at least at the top of the hill right here, there's about five new flags that they've just put up. I'm gonna stay here a few more minutes longer. They've gone like deep towards like Superman and Gold Rusher. So, I mean, maybe I'll have to go on it a little bit later, but yeah, they're way back there. I can't see them anymore, but there's another crew member over here beyond the construction fence. Okay, I've been keeping an eye on this gentleman right here. He's been walking back and forth on this massive concrete slab that was the stadium seating. And like I was saying earlier, I have a feeling they're gonna reuse all this because if they were gonna tear this whole thing out, like if they were just gonna demo it, they wouldn't have just specific spray paint sections. Not all of it's been spray painted. And then there's just like little tiny pieces here and there. And I have a feeling if they were gonna demo the entire thing, they wouldn't spray paint it at all. They would wait to get rid of the slab and then, you know, uh, start marking the ground for whatever this is gonna be. But they've been marking the concrete the past couple days now. Now we have this guy kind of walking back and forth, taking looks from different angles. So yeah, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this right now on the channel. I think they're gonna keep this piece and they're gonna use it for whatever thing they're building. And still trying to keep an eye out for these guys that are just in the trees. Yeah, they're still trekking through the jungle over there. Okay, I've spotted them. They're way up there by uh, Superman's station. Like if you were uh, getting ready to launch out, the launch track here, they're right up there putting in some new stakes and I can hear them like pounding them into the ground. And there's the crew member that was walking back and forth. He's now disappeared beneath the construction fence here. And you know, since I think this is a roller coaster, remember it doesn't have to be this like mega roller coaster that goes upside down a million times or anything crazy. It could be a family roller coaster, like a multi-launch family roller coaster because of its proximity to Bugs Bunny World. You gotta remember that we're right next to this. So if they wanna do something family friendly, it totally makes sense in this area. But on the flip side of the coin, it is Magic Mountain. And it also isn't surprising if they wanna do something crazy. They're known for that. So since this is such a large spot, it's gonna be either or if it's a roller coaster. It's gonna be something more family friendly that's long and has multi-launch, or it's gonna be something big and just be out of control. Those are my guesses. Go ahead and comment down below. What do you think is going on here? Do you think it's a big roller coaster? Do you think it's a giga coaster? I think it's a water ride or a cotton candy stand? Go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. I would think on the next couple of visits, we're gonna start seeing some tree removal. I have a feeling that they're putting in as many markers as they can as quickly as they can so they can move on to the next step, which is clearing the land. Oh, look at this over here at full throttle as I'm making my way out of the park. The perimeter fence around the project is getting some work. This morning it was laying on the ground, but now crews have propped it up. 
So yeah, maybe this is just all preparation for some major things going on here in the next few weeks. Well, that is gonna do it from a windy magic mountain. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these updates from Six Flags Magic Mountain or some of your other favorite theme parks because I cover a bunch of them from all over and we're approaching 100,000 subs, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't wanna miss out on. Be sure to check out my Instagram account and other socials by following the links down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye. Thank you.